Hello friends, welcome to my channel, a channel for learning simple coding. If you find this video to be helpful, please like, share and subscribe my channel. In this video, we are going to learn one more component from Material UI is called Slider. So we will see in this video how we can use Slider. So let me start here and I say here BTY that is my snippets for providing a title so i just import this box and typography and here i give mui slider example and save it and here i need to change this also i say mui slider like this and i can change it here mui slider and from here I can provide slider save this now you see this we have MUI slider like this now we start over example so I say here box layout and in this box layout I provide slider and like this and I save this and uh, need to import the slider also so i say slider save this now you see by default we have such kind of slider you see now we modify it so i say here width of this is 600 pixel save this you see we have this width uh, then I say the margin of this is equal to auto so we have in the center also now I say from the top MT equal to I say 3 you see we have down also now we try to provide some value for that I create a state variable I say this variable is value and set value we have here use state and here I provide the default value 10 save this now I have few property of slider like I have value so I say value equal to value then I have on change then on change I have this function arrow function which have event as a first parameter new value as a second parameter and i say set value here and new value i provide this save this now you see that we have this one like this now i try to uh, display this value also here so i say value here we have value that we want to display you see that by default is 63 so I just increase and decrease and this value change from 0 to 100 so I refresh it by default we have 10 because I have initialized to 10 now uh, I can also provide this I can provide few property also like uh, I say value label display equal to on save this and you see that on the top we have the value which we have automatically is display then I can set this to auto also auto also so it will decide automatically it want to display or not you see so it automatically display and then hide you see auto now I can also set here the step how many step we have to take on one click so I say step equal to I say 10 you see that if I click one time so it changed to 10 50 then 60 then 70 then 80 you see one by one we have the gap of 10 you see because of the steps and then I can display marks also these steps have some dot so it will display that we have a marks on 10 you see we have a dot here we have a dot here you see like this 
we can provide like this now i have a color also i can provide here color so i say color is secondary save this you see color is change so we can provide the material ui color those are available one by one now i can decide size of this also so i say size equal to large so we have a small size we have a large size you see now we have a large size then i can say small save this you see we have a small size also we have a normal size also we have a large size also it depend on you what you want you see now it's a large one it's a very very good feature now we have one more feature also if you want to uh, give custom label like this we have here 20 30 40 but i want to display label also here and custom label i want to display for that i can take here one array and i say marks array like this and in this array i take uh, this value object and here i take value I say value is 10 then I say label and I say label is 10 kilometer uh, similar way I want to display more value so just I make copy of this that's a kilometer so just I make multiple copy 2 3 4 5 and here I say it is 20, here 30, here 40, here 50 and similarly we have 20 kilometer, we have 30 kilometer, we have 40 kilometer, we have 50 kilometer. Save this. Now this marks I will, I will pass just in front of this I say marks. Now you see in place of dot we have this marks you see. Remember that because the value is changing from 0 to from 0 to 100 and I have only for 50. So I just increase it. I say it is 100 one at the last. Then I say it is 70. Then I say it is 50 like this and i can say it is 30 save this and you see that like that we can manage the label also on this you see so these mark will change to the custom marks which i am providing here one more thing we have for that i just make duplicate of this copy this and paste it here now you see that uh, I just remove the marks from here from this so you see that we have second one also but without a marks it's custom marks not the automatic marks not a custom marks now here in place of value which I am providing default value to one I just provide a array and I give here two value like this and save this now you see the magic here I will have multiple selector you see I just select this this much of range I can select and you see I have display 30 40 you see 20 50 then we have 70 so 20 70 individual value I can also display if you want to display individual value so I can say here value 1 and in this value we have a array value 0 then I say value 2 and here I say value 1 like this save this and you will see that two value we have value 1 and value 2 so like that we may have multiple range also in this you see so like that way we may provide multiple range I can provide extra three range also not only two one value if I increase here for say I say 40 save this so you will see that uh, we have three range here now similarly I can put one also 
in the array and I can display three values. So like this we may select multiple range of the value which you want to select from this slider and we can display custom label also if you want to display these labels. We can uh, have it multiple size also. So these are the variants in slider and these are the multiple properties and options which we have in material UI. It's a very very easy example to understand all the properties and concept of slider. I think you understand it now. If you understand it, if you learn something from this video, please do subscribe. Thank you for watching this video. Thank you.